What's your favorite way to do a hot dog? Because today, we're grilling some hot dogs, but not only any kind of hot dog. Today, we're grilling some dirty water, Buffalo, New York, whatever you want to call it, beer brine, steamed dogs today. They're gonna be crazy, but they're gonna be freaking crazy good. Cheers, I'll see you guys in a second. Mm. So good, so good. Welcome back to the kitchen, guys, and welcome back to Onion Mike Media. Today, it's still summertime out here in Buffalo, and these things have been just in our bloodstream for every summer since I was a kid. These are the hot dogs to get when you're in Buffalo, New York. They're worth the journey down here. If you've never had them, I'm telling you, just come try it. We'll try it one day. Anyway, today we're going to do a take on a dirty water hot dog, if you will. It's going to be like half marinated, beer-soaked dog, finished on the grill. You take some of the onions we marinate with, caramelize them a bit, put them on top. And we're going to kind of figure it out and fly by the seat of our pants on this one today. Because that's the way I like to cook, and it's the most fun way to cook, I think. You can be as structured as you want. You still gotta have fun while you're doing it. So we're gonna build our little bit of our marinade here today too. It's gonna be in this nice pot. We're gonna boil it on the stove. We got my little seasoning glass here ready to go. Got my seasonings. All we're gonna need is a few things today, super easy. It's gonna be garlic powder, some caraway seed, and some brown sugar. We're gonna use some beer to soak them, obviously. And it's gonna be one part beer, two parts water. Got some onions we're gonna slice up real thin with the mandolin, some garlic cloves we're just gonna smash, throw in here, let it cook through. But I think this marinade is gonna be really good. It's gonna give it a really like deep, savory, robust flavor to these hot dogs. Similar to something you find on the streets of New York, which is trying what we're, or kind of what we're trying to emulate, emulate here. So kind of what we're trying to emulate here is what we're trying to kind of emulate here, which is what we're kind of trying to emulate here. What we're kind of trying to emulate here. I said that five times, Mike, have fun editing that, which is what we're kind of trying to emulate here. It's just like a street dog in New York. So that said, let's get this rolling here. We'll start with the onion. So I'm going to use half of a white onion here. I'm going to trim off the ends and I'm going to cut it in half just right through the root like that. Then I want this to be super thin, so I don't know if you can see that on there. One eighth inch, so just set yours to the thinnest you can with the onions, because we want these to caramelize beautifully, like super quick and beautifully when we got them in the old, on the grill. Leaving the root on right there makes it really easy to slice these, plus you won't cry a lot, so here I go. Mandolins are notoriously sharp, notorious for taking fingertips off. So again, another onion mic warning, be careful. Perfect. And the root gives you that little place to grip, and then guess what, this goes right in the trash. Look at how thin these onions come out. You want these, I'm telling you, like paper thin. See that? It's perfect. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put it right here in our pot. To add to this, we're gonna smash these three cloves of garlic here. Like that. Right in. Right in. So now that we got the onion and the garlic in there, we're gonna put our little bit of a seasoning blend in here. It's not much, but it's gonna it's gonna help out. It's gonna be a teaspoon of caraway seeds, a teaspoon of garlic powder, which is gonna help bring out the other garlic that's already in there. A teaspoon, I'm choosing brown sugar. It's gonna help. It's gonna give a nice caramelization on the dog. Let's give that a little stir. That's gonna go right in there. So it calls for a 12-ounce can of beer, pour it in there all the way, and then fill that can up two times with water, one, two. I only got a 16-ounce or a 16-ounce can because we're going Buffalo style, we're going Labatt Blue. I'm choosing blue, you choose whatever beer you want. 12 ounces and it goes. Twelve ounces. And it'll be 24 ounces of water in this bad boy right here. And there you go, that's everything. Give us a little stir. That's looking like some dirty dog water right there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this on the stove, bring it to a quick boil, and I'm just gonna kind of kill the heat so that way the onion and the garlic start cooking together and they incorporate, and then we're gonna move on to some hot dogs. Right there, put the lid on top. Just come up to a nice boil, it looks pretty good. Yeah, put that right there. Should take about 10 minutes to boil. Once it's done boiling, we're gonna take it off, kill the heat, let it cool up just a little bit, maybe like room temp just before it, and drop the wieners in there, throw them in the fridge, and they're gonna be marinating until we throw them on the grill. Maybe I'll make a little cream cheese sauce or something like that. We'll see, see you in a sec. This thing is boiling, so we're gonna kill the heat on this. We're just gonna set it off to the side here. So while this cools over here on the stove, because it's done, 
we are going to stab some hot dogs and it's going to be really easy. So stabbing these is going to let us soak up all that uh, good flavor that we just built in the pot over there. So we'll go ahead and open up our pack of salads here. I'm going to do four on the marinade. I'll probably have two for lunch tomorrow. It's real simple. Just stab them all over. Get a little close up. And right in. down to a nice room temperature. We're just gonna pour it right over these dogs. Right in. Beautiful. Well, those are submerged, those are perfect. I'm gonna pop those in the fridge, minimum half hour, as long as you like really. Into the fridge these puppies go for about, like I said, 30 minutes or so. Uh, so next time you see these, we'll be tossing them on the grill. But hey, if you like what you see so far, and you're enjoying hanging out here in my kitchen here at Onion Mike Media, why don't you hit that like button, why don't you give us a subscribe. Um, you know, I'm slowly growing here a little bit and I'm uh, really enjoying what I'm doing. I, I'm glad I got a few followers already. So if you, if you guys are watching right now, thank you for the subscribers that I got. Um, let me know in the comments if you ever had a dog like this before or what your favorite style of hot dog is. But yeah, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, throw on that notification bell. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Onion Mike Media as well. I'm probably gonna start another uh, Facebook account. Maybe I'll do a TikTok in the future too, we'll see. But that's where I'm at. I'm gonna see you guys in a few minutes once these are done marinating. Think we're gonna get these puppies on the grill. We're gonna make a super simple topping for our hot dogs here. The way I'm gonna do this, cream cheese is gonna be super simple. About two tablespoons of cream cheese. About two. One tablespoon of sriracha. just to help loosen it up. And we'll just stir it all up. Pinch of salt. Just a little. What? A little bit of pepper. I'll give it the old stir. Let's get a taste. Perfect. Right on the hot dog bomb with the bacon. Ooh, great little bite at the back. That's perfect. I gotta be honest with you guys. It's been a week since I shot the first half of this video. So that same day when I shot the original part of this and me marinating these, I grilled them off after three, about three hours in the, in the marinade. They were great. Felt like it needed a little bit longer, so I left them in there for another day or so. I would have kept filming the next day and got it, but I had a concert to go to. And then when we got home from that concert, I was hungry and we had these in for about, I want to say 36 hours at that point. And they were even better, but still think it needed to go longer. So this batch right here, I made again on Saturday. Today is Wednesday, July 19th. This batch was made Saturday, July 15th. So I've had these in here for about four days. And looking at them, they are pretty plump and they're pretty, uh, they're pretty brined. So let's take a look. I'm only bringing two out, so. <laughs> Oh yeah, as you can see, all those four coals right there, those are all just bursting with that uh, marinade. The onions are probably just super, just super moist in here, ready to caramelize up. There's a ton of them in here. Yeah, look at that. You can see all the holes just bursting with flavor. So hopefully this is going to turn out pretty good. Could end up being one of my biggest fouls leaving in there for too long, but we shall see. I'm also going to do a bacon on one of the sides here. So a couple slices, just slip that in the bun. And I just need two buns. Good old fashioned store bought cheap buns work perfectly for this. So, bring this out to the patio with me because I'm going to need some onions. So, next time you see me, I will have my sunglasses on out there on the old patio with the grill. Ah, welcome back to the patio, guys. So, the hot dogs are out here, like I said, only two, some bacon, two buns. We're going to top them all back in there where it's a little quieter. Again, I live on a busy street by an auto shop, so bear with me. Let's fire up this grill. that get hot right up to around 350 400 degrees and then we're going to drop the hot dogs on we're going to drop the bacon and onions on all at the same time they should come together right around the same amount of time we're going to be eating some dogs guys let's go grills up the temp let's get these puppies on here bunch of onions good amount these will shrink up 
because they're so saturated. So you might as well just put a bunch on there. Let them get nice and caramelly. Those look great. A little more. I love onions. Can't ever have enough as far as I'm concerned. Don't want these to go too quick, so drop the heat a bit. And we're gonna put on the hot dog. The hot dog over here. A little hot side for the hot dogs on the right. A little bit of a lower side over here. You can see these are already browning up beautifully. Can't go wrong with a little bun toast. A little bun toast, can't go wrong. All right, we're looking pretty good in here, guys. Oh yeah, I think that bacon's just about ready to come off. That's perfect right there. Oh yeah, beautiful. Bacon's just coming right off. Don't forget, these sat in a sugary brine for four days, so they're gonna be soaked up with a whole bunch of flavor. They're gonna come nice quick. And yeah, buns are looking good. We'll pull those off. We don't want to over toast. Nah, I thought they were looking pretty good too. Look at that. Some good color. That's the best part about Salins is these things, the natural casing on here, just brown right up beautifully. It's a perfect looking hot dog right there. So they clearly need a few more minutes. I realized when I was cooking these the past few times, these take a little bit longer to cook because they're so saturated. So they're gonna take a bit to cook through and get all that flavor and, and kind of brown up on the outside to quote dry out. So these onions are pretty much done. We're gonna pull these right off. How are these hot dogs looking? Oh, perfect. Starting to get that beautiful, beautiful red crust on it on the outside. Still need a few more minutes and those things are ready to rock. Just look at that color. That's how a hot dog should look, everyone. Can't beat it. Let these guys get some more color on it. We're eating these puppies. Guys, we are there. We are about to go inside and eat some dogs. Look at these. Oh, perfect. My hot dog's a little charred, you know? That's how it should be. I don't want any of the skimpy, uncooked, rubbery, no snap to it when you bite it kind of dog. Look at these, though. These are perfect. You ask anyone. That's what a hot dog looks like, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'll see you in my kitchen here. We're dressing these, and I'm pounding down these glizzies. Let's go. Ooh, all right. Well, as you can see, I already dressed one because I'm trying to film two in one videos here, real style and YouTube style, but I'll dress this one for you to pull right now. So, bun that was toasted and steamed earlier. Let's get this nice cream cheese right in there. Right on the inside, just wipe it off, spread it around. Be liberal with it, you know, kind of be, don't be scared of the spicy cream, cream cheese, I'm telling you. This hot dog, it's a little eclectic, but it's very, very good. Hit it, wiener, a couple pieces of bacon. Right on the side, just like that. There's the onions. This is what this thing should look like here. Let's get into this thing here. I'm gonna cut it in half, give you a good little cross section. Come on. Just look at all that in there. Perfect. Just going for a bite. Cream cheese is perfectly on point with the spice level there. The onions are so sweet. They're, you can't leave this in the brine for too long. I mean, you could leave this in there for two weeks if you wanted to, it'd probably be even better. The way the beer and the water and the caraway seeds and the brown sugar just permeate this, it's just like a brine hot dog. It's, it's very good, like surprisingly good. I, I really think you guys should give this a try. If you like what you saw today in this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm on your mic media, I'm still cooking. Heavy. Oh man, so good. Dirty water dogs, beer brine dogs, whatever you want to call them, try these. Fantastic dogs.